Good morning. I'm literally right outside of my tent, getting the bear bag down, and I heard something and looked over, and there's a deer just grazing along right here. He just went behind that tree. Like I'm literally maybe 15 feet from my tent. Good morning again. Sorry the footage on that deer is a little bit fuzzy because it was barely daylight. Um, it's a beautiful morning. We were set to roll out of camp at 7.30. We were only a few minutes after that. And today is supposed to be probably the easiest day we've had on trail so far, as far as terrain goes. Some people do something called the Damascathon, where you do a 26.2 miles from where we were into Damascus. We're not about that life, but we're joking about it. If anybody else decides well, we can do it, I'm ready to do it. The problem is we have rooms in Damascus tomorrow night and the next night. So we'd be, as they say, SOL or splurging. You know, SOL could also be splurging on lodging. Yeah. All right, so there's some cool things today, like flat terrain. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's supposed to be hot again, though. Gorgeous so views. Gorgeous views. Like, if I can see, like, out in front of me instead of straight up a hill, that's pretty gorgeous. Yeah. gorgeous. Okay, there really is a couple cool things today, so I will be back in a bit. Hope you're all enjoying coffee on this fine, it's Sunday, right? Sunday morning. Okay, we made it to the first milestone of the day. And this is, it's, it's literally a stone, but there's an encryption on the back of it. And this is a memorial to a local hermit, hermit. that used to live up in these parts. And let me show you what it says on the back. Let me see, you had to zoom in a little. Uncle Nick Grindstaff, born December 26th, 1851, died July 22nd, 1923. And at the bottom it says, lived alone, suffered alone, and died alone. So sad, so sad. So I've read a little bit about this guy, and the story is that he um, kept a pet rattlesnake in the rafters of his cabin, and he was just a hermit that lived around here. And I don't know, what is this up here? I don't really know what that is. I'm almost afraid of getting, oh, it's a pipe. Check that out. There's a pipe hidden in the rocks up there. Huh, how nifty is this? And there's a cross on the bottom down there. All right, keep on trucking north till the next thing. All right, we've come out to a real road. Apparently it was over there is entering the Watauga River watershed. And this is a really cool part because it's something a little bit new. We get to walk through some pastures. And from what I can see up there on top of this hill, it appears to be covered in yellow flowers. Oh, look at all the... Look at all the dandelions down low and then the other yellow flowers this is cool just because we haven't got to do anything like this yet there's another like um, something up here that's kind of an AT landmark so we'll go through these pastures for a while and I'll bring you back uno momento It is. It was gonna be like, you know, just nice walking through the meadow. Like heading, to, we're walking to Maine. Not cheese ball, she's dancing her way there. 
she thinks her name cheese balls because she's gonna eat a bucket of cheese balls but in fact it's because she's a big cheese ball what say you about that huh never mind i didn't hear what you said probably better Ready for this candy. We've Ready. made. Ooh. We have made. We've made it here. Fox is over there getting her pick taken. Gun show. The AT barn. Check it out. I feel like we're getting somewhere now. This is like such a beautiful field. Stuff like this <laughs> is why it takes us oh, a while to get anywhere. She's going to do a cartwheel with her pack. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's taking a nap. <laughs> I take a nap right here. <laughs> that was the best she's alive. She's alive. Come on, Grace. We just took a break. Everybody's got their packs on and we are back to walking. There's a road crossing in about three and a half miles. And someone told us yesterday that they were supposed to have some trail magic there today. But someone we just saw going southbound said there was nothing set up yet. But we're holding out hope that it's a lunch trail magic and they are just not there yet because it's too early. I mean, either way, we got plenty of food. Um, it's just nice to have a chair to sit down in for a minute. All right. It's going to get to walking. Oh, he's, he gave up? He's like, no, I'm going to something else. That's we got like a whole colony that. of ants. Oh, here's oh, one of... <gasps> they carry those leaves that are way bigger than them. Looks like the main... Here's the main door to the house. We've been at this road crossing just for a few minutes and we've seen tons of motorcycles. Oh, it's making me miss my bike. There was no trail magic, so we march on. We just finished our lunch break. We ate lunch back there where all the motorcycles were riding by and saw tons of bikes. And it was really making me miss my bike. Actually, I don't have a bike right now, but maybe miss having a bike and riding. Right now, we're just kind of standing. We did a little bit of this climb and we're, Roadrunner and I are just waiting. And then down to the bottom of the hill, Geocaching Katie is finding a geocache. So if you want to see more of geocaching on the AT, Check out Geocaching Katie on YouTube. Yep, check her out. K I K A I T Y. Yeah, Geocaching spe space K A I T Y. So I spelled that wrong on my channel, so it's K A I T Y. T Y. Right. All right. I guess we will get to go, and we only have four and a half more miles to the our minimum spot, but I think we're gonna go further, if everybody agrees. So we shall see. Well. The further we go today, the less we get to do tomorrow. So tomorrow is set to be a 10 mile. So every extra mile we do today, we get 
to possibly be to Damascus in time to have oh. breakfast at the diner. Ooh, breakfast. That's breakfast a is good. Good little incentive right there. It is. Here comes Fox and Cheese Ball. <laughs> Geocached up, so we gotta head north. Talk to you later. Here's a shelter. It used to be a shelter. It's no longer active. It's for just looks and emergency purposes only. I'll show you around. Okay. It looks like it's not very plumb. It kind of goes this way. And it has definitely seen better days. There are gaps in all of the logs. And it's just one little bitty platform here. <clears throat> it looks like someone made a fire pit like dang near in the edge of the shelter. And then there's another over here with some trash. Which somebody shouldn't have done that. Wow, this thing's pretty neat. Definitely seen better days, though. All right. We're only about a half mile from the place we're going to break and figure our lives out and see what we're going to do for the evening. We'll let you know when we find out. So we did something a little bit different today. We stopped at that last shelter and got a bunch of water. And then we ended up eating dinner early. So we ate dinner at the shelter and now we're hiking on after dinner. This will be the first time that I've done this. But we had a shelter is 10 miles from Damascus. So we're gonna try to get a few more miles in tonight. That way we can have a shorter day tomorrow and potentially make it in, ta in time, make it to town in time Breakfast. For breakfast. For breakfast. 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 So there's no more designated uh, camp spots in the direction we're going. But we are moderately confident that we'll find a sufficient place for four tents. It's not looking good so far. <laughs> well, we ain't looking so far. All right. I'll show you our wonderful camp spot when we find it. We're walking down the trail. I'm just kidding. We're camped right next to the trail. We found a great stealth spot just a couple miles past that shelter. I think we only have like 7.6 miles to the edge of Damascus in the morning. And there's even something much cooler before Damascus. I'm going to leave that one a surprise until tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm going to close out today's video. And one thing I wanted to talk, talk about though is some gear things. So tomorrow when we get to Damascus, I have new shoes waiting. So excited to get some new shoes. Mine are, um, they look good but the, uh, from the outside, but the inside has some wear and tear on them. And there's definitely a difference of the, um, the cushioning. So the one big thing that's been on my mind though is I need a new quilt. My quilt is a 10 degree enlightened equipment Enigma. That's the one with the sewn toe box. And it's just been too hot already. It's only mid April. I don't even know what the date is. It's, it's today like the April 23rd, 24th. 20, today's April 24th. But the last two days, as you know, because I was complaining all day yesterday, it was hot. Today was hot also, but the ter terrain was much kinder. So um, it really wasn't nearly as bad. But still at night when the lows are like 50 or low 50s, that 10 degree quilt is warm and it gets kind of clammy on my skin. There's no way I can do that when it gets warm, like real warm in the summer. So I don't want to get the new quilt yet, but I want to have it ready for mid-May. And what I was wanting to do is get the Enlightened Equipment Revelation in a 40 degree. Because the Revelation doesn't have the sewn toe box. So it un you can undo the toe box and basically it's a blanket. So it's a little more versatile. Um, I'm also wanting to get the synthetic one instead of the down because it's still gonna be a little bit smaller than my 10 degree down quilt. And it's gonna be a few, even with being synthetic, so it's okay to be wet, um, it still weighs less than my 10 degree down quilt as well. So the thing is, the only colors they have in stock uh, that are ready to ship is green and black, which is the exact same as my puffy coat. And I don't want the quilt to be that, co that color. And when I looked last night, they have a sale on the custom quilts. It's only $10 more than stock. And they have a ton of colors to pick from. 
And Cheeseball keeps telling me to get a hot pink quilt. Hot pink. Hot pink. Hot pink. So I was, at first I said, no way, I'm not going to get a hot pink quilt. However, then I realized um, the 2022 hiker bag tags, which I don't know, I did show that at the very beginning video when I showed you my hiker number. So we get these plastic bag tags once you sign in as a through hiker and they're hot pink. So that would be kind of cool to have a hot pink summer quilt and the color of for 2022 for through hikers is hot pink. So I think I'm going to go and buy a hot pink exterior and a black interior 40 degree quilt. And I plan to do that to, uh, while I'm in town in Damascus um, in the next day or two. So if you have other suggestions for a quilt, go ahead and comment below and let me know what you think I should try instead of the Revelation. Um, but I don't know, I'm pretty set on the Revelation because I love my Enigma. I mean, that thing, even when it's like damp in the mornings from just the humidity, you can pack it in a dry sack and it's perfectly fine in the evening. So I don't know. I really like the brand and I think I'm going to stick with it. But anyway, have a good night. I will get my new shoes tomorrow. And remember, we got a huge milestone coming up. So be sure to tune in for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow will be the sixth daily video in a row. And then after that, I think I may try to do two days per video and see how that works. So I've been doing this whole time, like three days into one video. And this tomorrow will be the sixth day in a row of daily videos. I think next I'm going to try every two days and see how that works out. All right. Until tomorrow. See y'all later. Have a good night.